How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Now, unfortunately it is Monday again, which means it's time to go back to work, but at least we can go over all of the tech news that happened in the past a few days. And we do have some nice GPU and some CPU news. So starting off with our first topic, we do have the current RTX 2080 Ti, 2080s and 2070s, but now we're also going to get the RTX Titan. We all knew that there was the Titan V that at launch was around $3,000, which was crazy expensive, but now we're gonna get that RTX Titan. This new card will also be running on the TU-102 GPU, which does have 4,608 CUDA cores, uh, and is going to pair it up with 12 gigs of GDDR6 memory, unlike the 2080 Ti, which only had 11 gigs of GDDR6. Now, as for the design, it's still going to keep the same as design as the 2080 Ti Founders Edition. So the dual fan config, and it will have a cool gold and a white color scheme, still the same as the Titan V. But now, unlike the Titan V, we currently don't really have a price for the RTX Titan. Uh, again, at, at launch, the Titan V was around $3,000. So the RTX Titan, it's probably gonna be a bit more than that. So we'll have to wait and see, but yeah, it's gonna be quite expensive. But I'm moving on to some CPU news. Gamer.com.ty one release slide showing AMD's new X570 platform for the upcoming Ryzen 3000 series CPUs. But now, like we all know, the current Ryzen platform, the AM4 platform, is still going to be supported until 2020. So again, you will be able to use your current first or second generation Ryzen CPUs on the new X570 and then vice versa again. But for all of the latest features and everything, once they're actually released, you might want to go for the latest generation and, and uh, latest motherboards and CPUs and everything because you're gonna get all of that new features. But the biggest surprise for these new X570 boards is actually going to be that it's going to fully support PCI Express 4.0. This uh, makes the X570 the first consumer platform that is going to support a PCI Express 4.0. Now you might also be thinking, do we really need 4.0? Not really for the current uh, GPUs. Uh, PCI Express 3.0 is still good enough, even if you are running uh, 2080 Ti's and so on. So it's not really that big of a deal, but later on we might want to get that. Now currently the launch is going to be around May of, uh, at Computex 2019, where they did also show off uh, the second generation of Threadripper CPUs. So we might see uh, the new X570 and also the announcement probably for the Ryzen 3000 series at Computex 2019. Uh, but um, we might also even see some epic ROM processors even before uh, that because usually uh, the server grade CPUs from AMD is a launch before uh, the consumer grade ones. So we might even see those epic ones beforehand and on also with the PCI Express 4.0. But yeah, it's not really going to affect us uh, that much. But unlike the server grade CPUs, these new second generation or 3000 series Ryzen CPUs might actually damage Intel's market share even more and now, uh, especially just the amount of uh, specs you get out of these new CPUs compared to Intel. We're already seeing uh, that Germany's largest e-tailer is selling uh, twice as many AMD CPUs as Intel, at least for the month of November, but overall a lot more people are getting into AMD's new Ryzen CPUs. But where AMD is still actually struggling though is getting into the server market and they're struggling quite a, a bit still. Now Intel currently owns around 98% of the server CPU market and AMD only about 2%. But predictions are showing that AMD might actually get up to 5% market share with their Epic Rome CPUs once they're actually out. But it's still quite a small amount compared to Intel. 
But now moving on to some other topics, the US Army has made a deal with Microsoft with approximately $480 million to purchase over 100,000 HoloLens AR headsets which is already more than twice the amount uh, that Microsoft actually have sold worldwide. So the military is planning to use these AR or uh, augmented reality headsets, not only for training, but also in combat, but there will need to be added some more features to actually make that viable. So the features that are looking to possibly add is by adding night vision and thermal sensors. And they also want to add sensors that can read the soldiers of vitals such as heart rate and so on uh, to actually see how the soldier is performing. Now, it's currently still a lot limited in that function. Again, we only saw about 50,000 units sold worldwide so far, uh, and they are quite a bit uh, pricey. But uh, this actually might help uh, push that even uh, further, the technology, because now with that $480 million uh, deal, that is going to help research and development in the HoloLens department or the AR market a lot further. And by adding these night vision and thermal sensors and all of that, that's going to be quite cool to see. And later on, they'll possibly add that or a smaller uh, functional uh, version of that in the consumer grade HoloLenses. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how the new AR department is going to go. HoloLenses looks really cool. It's not there yet, but hopefully with these funds from the military, uh, it might actually help push it a lot further. But I quickly wanna hear from you guys. What do you think of the entire AR technology? Do you actually think that is the future compared to a VR? And would you also like to actually own a AR headset? I know we already have some AR technology in our phones, but it's not really there yet, same with the headsets. So let me know down in the comments below. Now getting back into some ray tracing news, 3D Mark as we know with a Firestrike and TimeSpy, the benchmarking software, is currently in development of a ray tracing benchmark that is scheduled for January. The benchmark is going to be called a Port Royale. Now this new benchmark is not going to support all GPUs. Currently it's only for GPUs that support ray tracing from DirectX. So yeah, it's not going to be for everybody, but it is going to be a new way of actually benchmarking the GPUs and be able to actually see a, a better comparison between all of the different cards. And now getting into our final topic, we all know Steam, almost the central hub for a gaming, PC gaming, well, however, uh, but we are also seeing that more companies are developing and moving to their own platforms. EA with Origin, Ubisoft with Uplay, and Activision with Battle.net. And this does pose a big problem for Steam, where they're losing a lot of money and then just opportunities. So now the biggest reason the publishers are moving to their own platforms is because of money, of course. Uh, the reason, uh, usually Steam takes around 30% uh, of the in total sales if it's uh, around 10 million in revenue, but now they're uh, moving down to 25%, so 5% down, where the publishers get around 75% and then Steam's get around 25%. And then if you go over 50 million revenue in sales, then it's going to also go down around 5% from the 75 to 25 down to 80 to 20. Now, even though it is 5% down, I'm not too sure how many of the big companies is anyway going to move back to Steam. They already have their platforms, uh, EA Origin and, and all of that. So they're stable there. It is nice to have one big platform where you can get all of your games. You can interact with everybody. Everything is done through Steam. But because the companies already have their own platforms, it's not really worth it to go back to Steam. But that is pretty much it for our tech news coverage. Again, if you guys do like these tech news videos, I'm mostly doing them like three times in the week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, sometimes I might do more depending if there's a lot of tech news that actually is going on. Sometimes it's a bit quiet, sometimes it's a bit hectic, but I want to hear from you guys. Do you enjoy it? 
let me know down in the comments below. So that is pretty much it for the tech news video. Uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed it again, and I will check all of you next time. Cheers, guys.